Tonight, the world stops to honor a legend taken before his time. Now, Kobe Bryant is being remembered as much more than just a great basketball player. I'm giving you a live look now at the huge crowd of fans who have gathered at the Staples Center in Los Angeles, all to pay their respects. And we begin the show tonight outside of the American Airlines Center, where Kobe has come to play so many times. We know that you've been seeing tributes all over social media all day. We do have some of those tweets scrolling right now at the bottom of your screen. Inside tonight, our studio is lit purple and yellow in his honor. We want to give you the latest now on the helicopter crash itself. The NTSB sent a GO team to the crash site to investigate. There were no survivors out of the nine people on that manifest, and that included a baseball coach from Southern California Community College who was a student athlete at the University of Houston. His wife and daughter were also on board. They were flying over Calabasas, a city about 30 miles northwest of downtown Los Angeles. The crash happened around 10 a.m. their time. We are told the fire at the scene made it difficult for emergency crews to get to that wreckage. And you can really see in the video of the scene that is a steep and hilly area. Joe Trahan is joining me now. And Joe, few hesitate to say that Kobe Bryant was one of the greatest of all time. One of the best who's ever played basketball. And that's why so many are shocked. They're saddened. They're heartbroken. And they really don't know what to do. They can't, just can't believe it. You know, in his 20 seasons of the NBA, Kobe Bryant created so many memories for fans, teammates, the Lakers, and the NBA worldwide. That's why so many in the sports world today feel stuck. The burden of the loss so heavy because Bryant's impact was so great. This video of Bryant and his daughter Gianna, who perished in the crash as well, had recently become a meme on Twitter. He was sharing basketball with her, just like he shared his competitive fire for the game with so many. It's why he won so much from child prodigy to ambassador of the game, five titles, an 18 time all star, 2008 MVP and all time great. But on this day, he was a dad on his way to coach his daughter and her friends, sharing more about the game he loved. Here's Bryant on Jimmy Kimmel recently talking about Gianna's love for basketball. I think your daughter might want to play in the WNBA. She does for sure. She does. Like, I, I don't. I mean, this, this kid, man. She's Wouldn't like, that be great, dude, man? I, I'm telling you, the, be, the best thing, the best thing that happens is when we go out and, and, and fans will come up to me and she'll be standing next to me and they'll be like, "Hey, you gotta have a boy. You and V gotta have a boy, man. You have somebody carry on the tradition, the legacy." She's like, "Oi." I got this. <laughs> you know, boy, for that, I got this. <laughs> like, that's right. Yes, you do. You got this. You know, it's so sad. I, I mentioned Bryant's reach, and it touched plenty of people right here in North Texas. Mike Leslie's here with more on that. Mike, it's still hard to wrap your mind around this shocking reality. Yeah, I mean, it's, it is an awful, awful day in the sporting world. There's no two ways about it. But his impact here in Dallas and on the Mavs organization, one thing says it all. The, the Mavs' respect for Kobe Bryant, built over the course of 20 years of competition between Kobe and Dirk Nowitzki, between the two organizations for championships and Western Conference supremacy, that respect is so strong that tonight the organization announced they are retiring Kobe's number 24. No Mav will ever wear that jersey again. Hosting another power from the Western Conference. For two decades, Kobe Bryant was a thorn in the Mavericks side. 17 times he hung 30 on them. Five times more than 40. And in 2012 against the defending champion Mavericks, he outscored them 62 to 61 through three quarters. I don't believe it. But the mutual respect, especially between Kobe and Dirk, was remarkable, even to the point where Kobe tried to recruit Dirk to play in L.A. I said, I called him, I said, Dirk, listen, I know, you know, you're not leaving Dallas, I, I get it, but I got to make the call. I mean, what do you think? He says, yeah, man, you're right, bro. I'm, I'm a lifer like you, man. We don't, we don't leave. And that respect extended to the current generation of Mavs as well. A fan is heckling him, and he looks to see who it is. And it's Kobe Bryant. He was talking Slovenian, so I was like, he was talking my language. And I saw Kobe, and I was like really surprised. Luka's devastation over Bryant's death mirrored his teammates. Doncic tweeted five times in 90 minutes reacting to the news, finishing with a picture of Luka posing with Bryant's daughter, Gianna. I like that he showed love. Forget about the game. Let me stop and appreciate greatness. And then there's Del Harris, Bryant's first coach in the NBA, who was later a Mavs assistant and now is in the front office of the Mavs G League team. His legacy is one that will last uh, forever because he influenced so many young players uh, to give the best effort 
For 20 years, the Black Mamba drove Mavs fans crazy. Now they're all left wishing he could drive them nuts one more time. In Dallas, I'm Mike Leslie. Bryant wasn't perfect. He had a legal issue, a sexual assault case that was settled out of court. Nonetheless, reaction has poured in nationwide and from more than just sports figures. President Trump tweeting this. Kobe Bryant, despite being the truly great basketball player, one of the greatest of all time, he was just getting started in life. The president also sent his warmest condolences to his wife, Vanessa, and the family. Earlier, President Obama tweeting this, Kobe was a legend on the court and just getting started in what would have been just as meaningful a second act. He passed on his condolences as well. NBA icon Michael Jordan said he loved Bryant and he was like a little brother to him. The news was shared at the Pro Bowl today. The crowd chanted Kobe's name. And from across the sports world, the shock and sadness was apparent. I just don't have a lot to say. I, uh, the news is just devastating to everybody uh, who knew him, who known him a long time. It's a shocker to everyone. Um, un un unbelievably sad and um, one of the more tragic days that uh, I think, well, for me, it's just, the rally just kind of sitting in. We all feel a, a deep sense of loss for what he meant to all of us in so many ways, and so many millions of people loved him for so many different reasons. It is one of those days, Marie, that you will remember where you were when you heard the news. And, and the sad part of this is Kobe Bryant was just getting started, right? Kobe won an Oscar in 2018 for a film that his company helped produce. He had so many other projects that he was working on in Los Angeles. So many stars and performers at the Grammys tonight. They were talking about Kobe and there were tributes left and right. So it is just uh, the perfect example of a star gone too soon. Right, we're going to miss seeing what was next to come in that second chapter for Absolutely. him, certainly. Okay, thanks, Joe. I know you all much more tonight in Sports Special. Sure.